China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline project, a mutually beneficial and win-win international project. On July 28, 2013, the vent torch at the Nankan metering station of the China-Myanmar natural gas pipeline was lit, indicating that natural gas had been transported to the China-Myanmar port. On April 10, 2017, at the Maid Island port on the west coast of Myanmar, two huge oil unloading arms were lowered respectively, docked with the oil pipeline mouth of the tanker, and began to unload crude oil to the port. At this point, the China-Myanmar crude oil pipeline project has been officially put into operation. The China-Myanmar crude oil pipeline and the China-Myanmar natural gas pipeline, which was completed and put into operation in October 2013, together form the China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline project. As China's fourth-largest energy import channel after the Central Asian oil and gas pipeline, the China-Russia crude oil pipeline, and the maritime channel, the China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline is a representative project of mutual benefit and win-win under the Belt and Road framework. Former Vice President of Myanmar Yu Nian Tan once said that the China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline project is not only a mutually beneficial and win-win project for the participants, but will also improve Myanmar's economy, industrialization and electrification levels, and is of great significance to Myanmar's long-term development. In this video, let us learn more about it. The starting points of the China-Myanmar crude oil pipeline and natural gas pipeline are located in the Kayokfu, special economic zone on the west coast of Myanmar. In June 2010, China National Petroleum Corporation and the Myanmar National Oil and Gas Company signed a series of agreements, clarifying that China will build and operate two natural gas and crude oil pipelines in Myanmar for a period of 30 years. The design transportation capacity of the Myanmar section of the crude oil pipeline is 22 million tons slash year, and the design transportation capacity of the natural gas pipeline is 12 billion cubic meters slash year. Myanmar can export 2 million tons of crude oil every year, as well as 20% of the total natural gas transmission volume. The pipeline passes through four provinces and states in Myanmar, enters China from Rueli, Yunnan, and is connected to China's domestic oil and gas pipeline network. The project is led by Southeast Asia Pipeline Company Limited, which was established in 2009 and is a subsidiary of China National Petroleum Corporation. It is mainly responsible for specific work such as survey and design, engineering construction and operation management of the China-Myanmar Pipeline Project, Myanmar Section. Geographically, the pipeline construction of the China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline project spans China and Myanmar. Because of the large span and complex terrain of the passing area, it is recognized by the industry as the most difficult pipeline project to construct. The starting point for the construction of the China-Myanmar crude oil pipeline is Maid Island in the Kayokfu Special Economic Zone. When construction of the pipeline began in October 2009, it was just an isolated island of 12 square kilometers, almost primitive. Because there is no external electricity or fresh water, all materials used in the construction of the Maid Island project, including the most basic steel bars, cement and other materials, need to be imported. The natural conditions on the island are harsh, with temperatures often exceeding 40 degrees during the dry season. The rainy season lasts from May to November every year, said a staff member of the Maid Island Management Office of Southeast Asia Pipeline Company. When working, you even need to be careful of venomous snakes at all times. 
It was in this environment that Southeast Asia Pipeline Company spent several years building Made Island into Myanmar's first high-level international crude oil port. The primitive island has become a modern island. It integrates a 1.2 million square meter crude oil tank area, the first station of crude oil pipelines, oil and gas pipeline valve rooms, workship terminals, 650,000 square meters reservoir, 38 kilometers of waterways and a 300,000 ton crude oil terminal. In addition to the highlights during construction, the China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline project has attracted more attention from its unique operating mechanism. Although the construction area only covers China and Myanmar, the China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline is a highly international commercial project. Among them, the natural gas pipeline is funded and cooperated by six companies from China, Myanmar, South Korea and India, while the crude oil pipeline is jointly constructed by PetroChina and Myanmar Oil and Gas Company. In July 2013, the China-Myanmar Natural Gas Pipeline project was officially put into operation to supply gas to China and began to distribute gas to Myanmar in September. As of the end of March 2017, the pipeline had transported a total of 13.34 billion cubic meters of gas to China and 1.55 billion cubic meters of gas to Myanmar. The China-Myanmar crude oil pipeline project was put into trial operation as early as January 2015 and the port was successfully opened to unload the first cargo of crude oil from the Middle East that month. Every time at 6 o'clock in the evening, the street lights in the streets of Kai Okfu light up one after another, illuminating the night sky brightly. In a country like Myanmar, where power shortages are common, similar scenes have rarely been seen before. The brightness of Kai Okfu is largely due to the China-Myanmar Natural Gas Pipeline project. Since the China-Myanmar natural gas pipeline officially supplied gas to the Kaiokfu power plant in September 2013, Kaiokfu's power supply has entered a normal track. According to reports, by April 2015, the four natural gas distribution stations in Myanmar supporting the China-Myanmar natural gas pipeline including Kaiokpu, Yanankiang, Mandalay, and Dongda, were all put into operation. It provides power resource guarantee for industrial users in Kaiokpu Special Zone and Central Industrial Zone in Myanmar, and also greatly improves the electricity consumption situation of local residents. Since the implementation of the China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline project, how to improve the livelihood of local people in Myanmar has been a matter of great concern to Southeast Asian pipeline companies. Chinese companies have visited nearly 100 natural villages along the Myanmar pipeline four times to listen to the needs and opinions of local people. Through multiple platforms, Southeast Asia Pipeline Company, Limited has invested a total of more than 24 million US dollars in Myanmar, specifically to improve the infrastructure construction level of education, medical care, water supply, power supply, communications, roads and other areas along the pipeline, benefiting 1.02 million people. In addition to improving people's livelihood, the project has invested a lot of energy in promoting local employment in Myanmar. The project currently has more than 800 local employees in Myanmar, accounting for 72% of the employees. At the peak of the construction phase of the China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline, more than 6,000 people were employed locally in Myanmar. Since entering Myanmar to work, Southeast Asia Pipeline Company, Limited has realized that local talents are of great significance to the ultimate success of the project. Therefore, 
They have tailored on-the-job training programs for Myanmar employees and trained a group of energy and related professionals. During the construction period of the project, nearly 60 Burmese university students were also sent to Yangon and China to learn advanced theoretical knowledge and practical experience and then participated in frontline production operation positions after returning. The company has also adopted the traditional Chinese master leads apprentice model under the leadership of a group of experienced Chinese staff. A large number of Burmese employees have grown rapidly. After the completion of the China Myanmar oil and gas pipeline, on the one hand, it can be transported through the pipeline to alleviate some of the energy supply problems in neighboring countries. On the other hand, Myanmar's natural gas development has a relatively stable market. From the perspective of regional cooperation, the China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline will more closely integrate the energy supply and demand of China, Southeast Asia and South Asia through the oil and gas network, which is conducive to the common development of the region. For China, the China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline is conducive to changing the energy structure of southwest China. The entire southwestern region of China and Guangxi will increase the proportion of clean energy such as natural gas. In addition, due to the substantial increase in energy supply, it will also help stabilize the price of natural gas. For Myanmar, the China-Myanmar oil and gas pipeline is based on Myanmar's local material supply and service market, giving priority to local Myanmar enterprises and brings huge direct economic benefits to Myanmar every year. At the same time, as an investor shareholder, Myanmar will also receive generous investment dividends in the next 30 years. Oil and gas pipelines will help drive economic development along the pipelines, boost Myanmar's overall economy, and bring more benefits to local people. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.